Next, I invite J. Naveen, AC 1024. Next, Naveen, Naveen Jasti. Naveen is currently doing his uh, MTech from IIT uh, Gauti. So he, although, he also secured all year rank 173 in K 2021 in C branch. But he was not happy with his rank, obviously. He told last year itself that he'll get a better rank. Uh, so he prepared once again. In the sense that he didn't prepare anything extra, I believe. Yes, okay. Probably would have done a little bit of practice, not more than that. So, and uh, in uh, K2022, he got a rank of, uh, you know, 24. Okay, even Manoj secured the same rank, 24. So, you know, over to Naveen. So, good afternoon, everyone. I am Naveen. So, first of all, hard to hard come everyone here. I'm thankful to Ricky Modistra because he for guiding me. And there was an MTech. It was very useful for me currently. Because next year, I want to enter placements. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, in, in 2020, I got a rank of 1100 and 119. At the time, uh, while reading the paper, I got to know that I was a mm, little bit lagging in basic concepts, little concepts while reading the paper. So after mm, getting on the exam, I, I was literally a little bit depressed fun. because I prepared one year, but due to lack of clarity in yeah. some of the concepts and some misconceptions, my marks were less and my rank was skipped to 1100. So at the time, I was in dilemma whether to join any MTEC IIT or to prepare one more year. So, so because of some issues, I started my preparation lately. So, because of my friend Chaitanya, I got to know Room Institute, the faculty there. So, the first point about Room Institute is I gone through Gozanthar's demo lecture. I loved that his lecture a lot. That was EDC. I got to know the essence of the subject first time. Trust me, even I don't know the basics of EDC when I was in 2020. Because of everything I got started ground zero because of lack of time. I didn't prepare that much. So uh, then I, I, took, I, took, I took home online coaching in the month of November. So so I worked, I practiced a lot because get get doesn't require only concepts required out of practice because in the exam, you have to solve each and every question in less than two minutes. And we have to verify those. So it will take nearly two or three minutes to solve a question. So I, I request all of you future aspirants to focus, focus on basics first because Suppose there are no basics, we solved 100 numericals. Suppose we got one or one, one question, we are not able to solve that question because of lack of concepts. So, if we are focused on basics, we are easily able to solve that one or one question. That is the important point because in gate exam, the examiner might twist the questions, but the concept is same. So, this is the main thing I want to tell you, everyone. So, Naveen, Naveen was our uh, you know, previous ranker, like I told. In gate 2021, he secured uh, rank 173 in EC. I think the score was 1793. Uh, yeah. So, with which he got into IIT Gohati, uh, VLSA stream. He was specific on VLSA stream, so he chose IIT Gohati. Unfortunately, he couldn't get into IIT Roorkee because of the change of uh, pattern or change of admission process in IIT Roorkee. So they were recruiting on the basis, they, they were taking admissions on the basis of marks rather than um, for, yeah. So marks can vary from year to year, right? If in a particular year paper was easy, you know, uh, the marks will be higher. And that particular year paper was a bit tough. And I think Navin got 56 marks, 56 marks, with which he got uh, 173 rank. And with the same marks, I think the previous year, uh, the person who got 56 marks in 2020, would have got a rank of almost 800 and 900. 1100. 1100. Yeah, 1100. So that's what 1100. So it means that uh, a person with 1100 uh, can say rank in gate 2020 and a uh, person with gate 173 rank in uh, 2021 who are both similar in uh, IT role. Key. That was the problem uh, people were having there. Anyway, so that was uh, the scenario at that. So he couldn't get into IT role and he joined IIT Gauti. But he was, again, like uh, Sir was mentioning earlier, <coughs> Having a rank is different and, uh, you know, uh, getting a rank is a different thing. So, he was not satisfied with his rank. So, he joined IIT Gohati, but still, the, that day itself, last year itself, he told that he will be writing gate again. So, that he should be having the personal satisfaction that he got a good rank in gate. And finally, he got, uh, in this year, he got a rank of 24. So, yeah, you know, you can explain about your journey. 
before joining home and after joining home, uh, what was the difference that you felt? Before joining home, I did still study. I prepared for one year. At the time, uh, I practiced more on solving numerical rather than focusing on basics. So this is the problem I had. This I clearly observed while attending the question and exam, actual exam. I got to know that I am lacking in basics. So after getting out of exam, I know I got that my exam was not that much good. So I was in the depression to what to do next. So um, after many issues, many problems, I decided to give one more year. But this time I want to take coaching to get clarity in concept. So I am searching for an institute and from a, from a friend, I got to know a Bloom Institute in the faculty and I have gone through a demo lectures. At the time, I gone through the like, demo lecture of EDC. After listening to the lecture, I got to know that I don't know EDC anything. It's like, yeah, I just start everything from from basic level in a clear way. So then I took the home coaching classes and I done everything good. I did everything within three months of preparation. So that time I focused on basics rather than numer solving numericals because previously my hand was good in solving numericals but not on basics. So I developed so I developed it into understanding on basic basic basics fundamentals. So he had uh, good basics on a few subjects and his problem solving uh, skills are good. So this is something that a lot of people will lack. Uh, they will be having very good subject but rather not many people will have good problem solving skills. So having a good uh, problem solving skills is very important in the sense that you should read the question and you should understand what the exam is asking you. So you have to build that skill over a period of time. It will not come in uh, overnight, but rather you have to build it over a period of time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, coupled with that, now what he did was anyway, he's having a very good aptitude uh, in terms of problem solving. Now he has uh, built a concept over that. And finally, you know, he secured rank 173 because of various reasons probably. But uh, the next year, you know, despite doing his MTech work, uh, parallelly uh, writing the gate exam and getting a gate rank of 24, it's not an easy question. I have written nearly 20 full length tests. Okay. It's like in first year, everything is 75, 78, 81 marks. Okay. 100 in my very first preparation. But in main exam, I got 55 marks. So I got to know the test is not, doesn't matter that much. Huh. The only way that matters is fundamentals. Okay. Because I said now previously that if we saw 100 questions, and if we lack in fundamentals, we can't solve the one or one question. Yeah. But if we are good in fundamentals, if, if, if we solve at least 10 questions, we can solve the 11th question in a very well, in a good manner. Yeah. This, this is what the fundamentals focus on. So I prefer that test series is not that much important. The only way is the preparation, the revision is more important. For and here again, we are not saying that test series is not important. The only thing is, uh, you don't have to uh, put a lot of emphasis on test series. Okay, first of all, be conceptually clear. And after you are conceptually clear, that's when you can uh, start writing tests. And after you write a few tests, no, that's when you will uh, reach a comfort level with that uh, subject. And that's when you will come to know, okay, uh, further uh, I don't have to write any test series. Okay, and once you reach that level, no, that's more than sufficient. And second thing, where test series always helps you is nothing but in terms of time management. Now you see a lot of people complaining after the exam saying that time was not sufficient. I could answer the questions, but rather uh, I couldn't get uh, the enough time. See, uh, time is same for everyone. Okay. The only thing is you are not able to solve that question limited time. It means that you haven't practiced enough. So you have to practice enough. Doesn't mean that you have to practice 24 by 7. Okay. If you don't have enough conceptual clarity, even though you practice 24 by 7, it will not take you anywhere. Okay. We see a lot of people, you know, saying that, you know, write this test series, that test series. Yeah. Okay, uh, there are various reasons for that anyway, but rather uh, you should write test series, but rather don't overdo it. We, That's we what we should overdo test series. Yeah. We, we should write only few tests, but thing is analysis is very important. Always have a middle path. We are not saying that don't write test series. At yeah, same time, we are not saying that write you know, some 10-15 test series, yeah. but you always have a middle path. Middle path. Initially, we will get less marks. I mean, subject wise, I got less marks starting, but I improved myself. So it took little time to improve everything. So uh, that's it. If at all you're having a good conceptual clarity, so even though you write limited number of tests, yes. still you can have a very good uh, you know uh, rank in gate. And uh, technically speaking, uh, like even Gautam sir uh, said earlier, uh, even if you're having a rank of 20 or 1, concept-wise, both are uh, against more or less both the students will have the same uh, level of understanding of subject. Okay, so that's not the rank below 20, below 100. You know, if you see the students, all of them will be having the same level of understanding. Okay. But uh, uh, whether it is actually a temporary one or a permanent one, that, that's what is the difference. Some people will get ranked below 100, 
But uh, let's assume you ask a few questions after uh, two months or three months after the gate exam. They are completely at blank. Okay, it means that they have studied only for the exam point of view. But they do struggle after they reach the MTEC level. Whenever they start their MTEC courses, since their preparation is temporary, so definitely they'll struggle after their, uh, you can say, uh, MTEC admission process. You have seen, you, you would have seen a few people who would have uh, struggled. Yes, sir. They have struggled in learning the basics again. Yeah. Because they focus only on solving numerical yeah. numerical questions. So they little struggle hard they, they started watching YouTube lectures to develop the, develop the basics. But you are uh, right now, you know, I think. Yeah, uh, I was not ever good in basics. Playing cricket every day. Yeah. <laughs> But I tell you, that course be hectic. Yeah. I just stop all this. But currently, I was good, um, good in sports. At least the first year, you are not having a lot of pressure. Yes, sir. In first semester, it was not that much hectic. Mm. So, one thing I want to say, compared to other IITs, IIT Gohati is a little bit hectic. And sorry, a little less hectic in work. Le less, less hectic or more hectic? Less, less hectic. Less hectic. So, sir. And second semester, it was a little bit hectic mm. compared to first semester. But as far as I know, remaining IITs is a little, little hectic. In and uh, yeah, coming to the placements, I think your seniors uh, placement will have been complete. Yes, sir. Can you uh, tell mm. us a few companies that have come for IIT? Yes, uh, sir. By seeing the placement strategy, I got to know that VLS is a branch which has very abundant placements. Mm. So they, they no need to bother about placements unless you have very good understanding. Mm. So there are few companies that actually the strength was less. It was actually 15 members or okay. seniors to the 50 members. So there are very few companies like Micron. Mm. Mm. Texas Instruments, Qualcomm, Intel has withdrawn due to some reasons this year because of some clash in the placement process and uh, AMD. Okay. So in these six companies, everyone got placed in okay. a senior. And uh, what's the uh, typical salary? So typical series was, it's a micro, I think, 24 lakhs per annum. Okay. So remaining everything went on 24, 25, 26. Highest was Qualcomm, 34 this year. 34, 34. Okay. 34 LPA. Okay. I think uh, if it is 34, the take home would be something around uh, 2 lakh per month. That, I don't have the idea. Uh -huh. So it will be nearly, you know, almost uh, two third will be the uh, take home salary. So it depends on the company's policies, that is, that is the product, the stocks they provide. Uh -huh. So any suggestion you want to give to your juniors? So there are a few suggestions like, um, due for, uh, during gate exam, what we have to do. So first thing is that we have to make the rough, rough neatly. Because many people think that it is a rough, but it is not actually rough. That is the biggest solution that you are doing during the exam. So we have to make out of neatly so that we can re verify the calculations again. And second thing is that don't we shouldn't show added added on a simple question. It's like by seeing the question we we, do, we got to the, oh, this is a simple question we will do. But at this point out you make calculation mistake. It will be very painful if you do calculation mistake in a simple question. So because don't underestimate network at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. At the same time, don't even I uh, don't even underestimate digital. Yeah. Okay. Yes, People do that, yeah. and moreover, uh, the second thing is don't even uh, assume that uh, subjects, a few subjects like EMT and DDC are tough. Don't leave any subject. Yeah. Study each and every subject because uh, at some point of time, the subjects you leave might get a simple questions. That then the subject you studied very hard. So then the person who read, who read other subjects will will go drop <coughs> you. I mean, will defeat you in the rank. For example, this year, I think EDC questions are uh, pretty easy questions. Yes, very sir. easy questions. And yes. last year, if you see EMT questions are very easy. Yes, sir. But just because of the fear, a few students will not even read the uh, EMT or EDC. Yeah. And you know, they will be at disadvantage. And if you look at the level of questions you're having, they are very easy questions. Uh, the last year EMT questions are pretty easy. And this year also, the number of questions in EMT is less. Yes, but uh, the level of questions, uh, it's not so bad. Okay. And secondly, like uh, EDC. EDC last year it was kind of uh, moderate to tough, and this year it's very easy. One question. Yeah, every every question. Is yeah. But only because of fear, if at all you are leaving a subject, in that case you are even losing on the easy question yeah, subject. Exactly. So we shouldn't leave. We shouldn't leave a subject. I mean, we have to study each and every subject hardly. Yeah. Regarding aptitude, generally this time even I got less marks in aptitude, more marks in aptitude. I suggest to focus more on aptitude. Because from the past three attempts, I got only seven marks in aptitude every attempt. I didn't cross more than seven marks in aptitude, which fetched my rank. This time, which fetched my rank to year 24. If I was good in aptitude, it might fetch, fetch around top 10. Okay. So, yeah, I suggest you not to give that aptitude easily. Take it as a serious, take it serious. Because it is the one which makes the difference between you and the topper, top ranker. Because almost the top rankers will perform good in aptitude. Aptitude is maths. Yeah, yeah. Both combined, you are having a weightage of 28, and in the 28, a typical top 10 ranker, no? they'll score almost something in 
25 is what they typically score. Okay. So spend uh, around half an hour for amplitude. Daily. Daily. Half an hour to one hour. For each subject, daily is more than Yeah. So, you know, we wish you all the best for your. I think you'll be placed in a year. So, we can again have a, a small interview as to how you grant that particular interview. Yeah.